Did you know that, in 2022, the news of Sri Lanka grappling with the worst economic crisis echoed across our social media feeds and news updates? By February 2022, their daily essentials were transforming into luxury items, such as the rates of milk and bread were doubling with every coming day. This ripple effect even reached classrooms while postponing exams nationwide due to insufficient funds to import academics. Homes were submerged in darkness as the electricity was available for only four hours per day. While headlines were narrating the struggles of the Sri Lankan economy, do you ever come across the economic struggles of many other countries which have also been silently grappling with their own challenges over the past decade? In this video, we will look at the top five most struggling economies over the last 10 years, their misery, high inflation rates, and real suffering. Stick with us till the end of this video to find out. Number five, Zimbabwe. How will you feel about the experience of heading to the market only to find yourself paying $90 billion for a single loaf of bread? I know it's horrific even to imagine, but what if I tell you the people of Zimbabwe have gone through all this? In 2008, Zimbabwe's economic crisis reached another level. Prices surged by a staggering 79.6 billion percent. A bag of sugar costs 90 billion Zimbabwe dollars. The salaries of workers were around 200 billion, which was equal to 10 US dollars. And 150 billion Zimbabwe dollars got you only 20 eggs. Even though Zimbabwe survived this calamity, but country still has to face the aftershocks of this economic crisis over the last 10 years. Characterized by human right violations, electoral controversies, and authoritarian rule, political turmoil has been a recurrent theme in Zimbabwe, which has undoubtedly deterred both foreign and domestic investments. Political instability has induced corruption and mismanagement that led to a loss of $100 billion. The debt crisis is also enlarging at an alarming pace. Experts believe that it will continue to increase till 2028, reaching 5.1 trillion US dollars. Due to the above-mentioned factors, hyperinflation in Zimbabwe has scaled to new heights. By mid-July, 2019 inflation has also increased to 175%. In March 2020, the inflation was above 500% annually, which reached 737% in July 2022. Before we move to the next struggling in our list, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for interesting global insights. Number 4. Argentina what counts Argentina in our list of top five struggling economies over the past decade is the debt crisis of the country that dates back to the early 1980s. This is because some serious financial problems arose for the country in 1980. During these financial crises, the Argentinian government turned to the central bank for financial assistance, leading to rapid inflation because of the decreasing interest rates for borrowing. Since this initial problem, the country has been struggling to recover its economy to this day. Above this, the COVID-19 pandemic, coupled with Russia's war in Ukraine, shrinking global food supplies, and tighter energy market has sent shocking waves to this already battered economy. Since then, nearly 4 in every 10 Argentine citizens have been living below the poverty line. On top of these external international pressures that have resulted in record-breaking inflation, the government has been implementing programs that it is unable to financially sustain. So, accounting for all the unprecedented global programs because of government mismanagement, prices have massively increased since 2021, with the country hitting a 90% inflation rate at the end of 2022. Well, Argentina's largest default was in 2001, when the government decided to retract close to US $93 billion in loans, causing the nation to lose access to international debt markets, and a similar default happened in 2018. When the pandemic hit in 2020, foreign investors were even more hesitant to assist a country with an unstable financial history. Therefore, in 2021, foreign investment stood at US $4.1 billion, which is 38% lower than the previous year. The national debt stands at US $382 billion as of September 2022, which amounts to nearly 90% of Argentina's GDP. Number 3. South Sudan Imagine a nation that should have been a beacon of hope after gaining independence in July 2011. 
the Republic of South Sudan has, instead, found itself entwined in an economic crisis over the past decade, with two-thirds of the population in desperate need of aid. But why has this promising story taken such a tragic turn? If we delve into the heart of its crisis, we can find a plethora of reasons. The mismanagement of resources coupled with the debt crisis, hyperinflation, and political instability create a storm across the nation. The celebration of independence was swiftly overshadowed when South Sudan's leading political party, the People's Liberation Movement, once instrumental in achieving freedom, now is divided into two parts and is fighting for dominance. In December 2013, Juba, the capital, became a battleground fueled by political strife, resulting in the displacement of around 413,000 civilians within months. Tens of thousands sought refuge in UN bases. Despite numerous agreements signed to restore stability, the most recent one in 2018 has faced repeated violations. Considering the stark economic realities, South Sudan has a GDP per capita of only $1,234 in 2023. The nation of over 7 million people is plunged into darkness without electricity. Political instability coupled with widespread mismanagement fuels hyperinflation while leaving the citizens grappling with the harsh reality of unaffordable necessities. The situation worsens as essential commodities like milk, sugar, rice, and fruit become scarce, even though their prices are beyond the reach of the majority of the population living in Sudan. 90% of the population survives on $1 a day, pushing them further to the brink of poverty. But the heartbreaking part is that 13 out of every 100 children die due to malnutrition before even reaching the age of 5. Number 2. Yemen can you even imagine surviving in a country where the cost of a little food basket soars up to 300%? Well, that's where millions of people are struggling to survive. This is because Yemen's economy has been steadily declining over the past nine years because of its escalating conflict in 2015. It has been reported that this civil war has even put the country's economy on the verge of collapse. As a result of the clashes between Yemeni government forces and the Houthis, Yemen's civil war began in 2015. Over the past nine years, conflict and economic decline have taken a heavy toll on civilians, forcing an estimated 4.5 million people to flee their homes and leaving two-thirds of the population in dire need of humanitarian assistance. The war in Ukraine has increased global food and fuel prices, disrupting supply chains of staple foods and basic goods. Yemen which is currently experiencing unprecedented levels of hunger, is being impacted by the war as prices for wheat and grain soar. Despite ongoing humanitarian assistance, 17.3 million Yemenis suffer from high levels of acute food insecurity, including 6 million people who are on the brink of famine. Even before the current crisis, Yemen was the most vulnerable country in the Middle East. It regularly ranked among the world's worst malnutrition rates, with half of its population living in poverty and without access to safe water, placing it in the top six internal displacement crisis globally. Number 1. Pakistan Pakistan, a land known for its rich cultural heritage, diverse landscapes, and delicious cuisines, has been struggling with economic instability over the past decade, but now the condition is intensifying with each passing day. The country is currently running on foreign loans taken on high rates of interest. And to make things worse, Pakistan has to repay $80 billion in three years. But the main question is, how did the country end up here? The country's situation has multiple causes, including corruption, external debt, mismanagement, and hyperinflation, but the primary reason is political instability. With a GDP of 340.64 billion US dollars in 2023, Pakistan's GDP growth and per capita income are the lowest in comparison to its neighbors, excluding war-torn Afghanistan. Moreover, the external debt has reached $126.3 billion from a wide range of creditors, including private and commercial lenders, China, and multinational organizations. With a mere $4 billion in foreign reserves, Pakistan cannot even pay for one month's worth of imports. Above this, Pakistan's financial woes are exacerbated by the ongoing political uncertainty. 
Recurrent changes in government, governance, and political unrest have eroded foreign investor confidence, leading to a decline in foreign direct investment, further lowering the likelihood of stable economic growth. These factors have led the nation to poverty and misery among people, due to a record-breaking hyperinflation rate of over 25%. Moreover, poor management, corruption, and a lack of timely investment in energy resources have, unfortunately, resulted in the closure of 1,600 clothing factories, rendering 700,000 workers out of a job. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments section if there's more to add about top struggling economies. Before you leave, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more global insights.